I move out, your marriage has a much better chance of surviving. Philip, look. Alexandra's not going to be satisfied with you moving out. I mean, she wants me out of Alan's life. She, she wants them all to herself that, so they can be alone and miserable together. So what, what, what do you propose? We, we need to stay and we need to protect him, okay? We, we're the only ones who can because we love him. And I... I can't fight her on my own, okay? I need you. Ooh. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Actually, you are. What do you need? Well, you said I could see Zach whenever I wanted. This is whenever. I was asking to see his big brother, and I just, I couldn't say no. I won't stop my son from seeing someone he loves. The only problem is he doesn't understand our arrangement, which got me to thinking maybe Zach doesn't understand the arrangement either, so I've decided to make it a little more kid-friendly. Which means? Which means all bets are off. I'm not going to let you bully me into throwing away someone I love because you don't approve of him. Because he is who he is. And who are you? And is this environment supposed to be better for him? I'm not giving up Gus. And I'm not giving up my kids. I will hire a lawyer, a shark, if I have to. But I intend to get my son back. Philip, darling, have you missed me? Mm -hmm. Well, that all depends. If you have returned home with a new and improved attitude towards your family, then yes, I have missed you desperately. And I'm delighted to see you. <laughs> Thank you. You know, ever since I came back, you have misunderstood my motives. It's not like you, Philip. It's not like you at all. Well, you know, you raise an interesting point. I wonder how well we do know each other now. You've been gone for years. You come back and you take the company. And no, not just take the company. Then you decide that you want to destroy my father and his marriage and apparently me as well. Oh, that's not that's not the aunt that I remember. No, I have never had any any intention of destroying you. Really? Yes. You're holding a videotape of me kissing my father's wife on his wedding day, waiting to spring it on him and destroy all of our lives. No, you're right. How, how confused can I be? This has been a wonderful family reunion. You know, your wicked stepmother is a threat to this family, not me. All I am doing is I am trying to step in to save you from yourself. Okay. And what about Alan? I'm trying to do everything that I can to help him, too. By taking his company and sabotaging his marriage. Great. <sighs> what? I just think that you feel guilty because you know that it was you that caused your father's heart attack. No, there's something you're not telling me. What is it? What don't I know? Okay, Philip, what you don't know is your father's true condition. Did you know that Dr. Kirby had told him that not only can he not work, but he cannot exercise and he cannot exercise his marital rights? Don't look at me like that. I just thought that you should know the truth. <laughs> I'm sure you did. I'm sure you just couldn't wait to tell me that my father's not sleeping with his bride. needs to get a hobby, preferably one that doesn't involve Alan's and my sex life. Sounds good to me. What exactly were you hoping to achieve with that little tidbit? Oh, oh, don't bother. Let me take this one. She was hoping her newsflash would cause you to go flying after me, and of course I couldn't resist you. Well, that's one thing we all agree on. And then she would make sure that Alan found out about it. You'd feel guilty as hell. There'd be a huge blow-up. I'd get kicked to the curb. How am I doing so far? Do you see how this woman thinks? It's all about her. Me, me, me. You should let us finish our conversation. She would have heard me say to you that it's time that you got out of this house before it's too late, Philip, before she gets her claws into you. I'll again. show you All claws. right, okay, oh, enough, 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 enough. That's enough for today. Oh, all right, okay. Listen to me. Mm. I want you to stop this. This is really beneath you. It is. Your help is not wanted or needed. And you know what? If you keep it up, neither are you. Yeah, hello. Hello, Alexandra. Oh, Edmund. Hi, 
Okay, what can I do for you? Well, I was hoping I could talk you into a cup of coffee. Oh, <laughs> what a great idea. I could do with a little fresh air. Good. How do we say the beacon in half an hour? Um, oh, let's make it 45 minutes. Half an hour, Alexandra. Don't be late. Hmm. Okay, that's it. You and I have to do something to stop Alexandra. Alan, hi. Well, Alexandra, how was your trip? Oh, it was excellent. I've gotten some great ideas for the company and for the family. Wonderful. And I've even shortened my timeline. I can only hope that means you'll be leaving soon. Oh, Alan, how can you say that? One day you will understand, darling, that everything I have been doing is for you and you alone. I will understand that when they're putting me away in the psychiatric ward at Cedars Hospital. Oh. How? How are we going to stop her, Phil, if she has us by the throat with that stupid tape? I don't think so. Are you crazy? No. If Alan finds out about this, then, then he's not... He's going to hate me, and he's not going to want me in his life as his business sure. partner. Yeah, certainly yeah, yeah, not yes, his wife. absolutely. He would, she, Alexander would love to find a way to make Alan throw you to the wolves. But don't you understand? This involves me, too. And that's what will stop her. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes, I mean it. I called her on it this morning, and unless I miss my guess, I don't think she's going to turn on me. <sighs> and what was that thing in the boardroom what, with all your ex-wives? What was that? For, for her? That's a nudge. Well, what happens to people she pushes? All right, I have no doubt she doesn't want to really hurt you, but she does want to get rid of me. And if you get caught in the crossfire, I... Wait a minute. What? Alexandra wants to destroy me by showing Alan that tape, right? Right. So what happens if I preempt her, Philip? What happens if I'm the one who shows Alan that tape? Well, I hope you plan to dial 911 before you show it to him, because I'm pretty sure seeing it will put him back in the ICU. No, no, look, we'll, just, we'll approach him calmly, and we'll just explain to him what it meant. It meant nothing. It was nothing. It was just... It was wedding day jitters. It was, it was unresolved issues. We were stuck in an elevator, and we kissed, okay? It was nothing. And since then, nothing, because that's our choice and our decision. And you think that he's going to find that comforting? I don't know, Philip. Maybe. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe he'll have another heart attack. I mean, let's be honest here. Our, our plans have had a way of backfiring. Well, it's not going to this time. It won't, because it can't. I want him to get better. And I had, there have been too many mistakes made, mostly mine. And I have to find some way to make this up to him. What? Look, you and I had our problems in the beginning. But I know you're trying to be a good wife to my father. And I respect you for that. I really do. I want him to have that. What are you doing? I'm going to call the doctor. Dr. Kirby, Philip, we know what it is. No, not so. Kirby. I'm going to call Dr. Pierce, Rick's specialist. I think we are long overdue for a second opinion. Let's see what Pierce says. If he gives Alan the green light, then we'll consider showing him the tape. That's really the only way that I can allow it. Agreed. Bring on Dr. Pierce. Certainly, um, are robust. Yeah, is a good word, isn't it? Listen, why don't you and I adjourn to the uh, bedroom and continue? Not until Philip's off the phone. I know. I j I'll tell you in a minute. Look, I just—you always told me it was a good idea to examine the entire playing field before a game, right? That's exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, Doctor Pierce, it's Philip Spaulding. Uh, listen, I don't know if you're. Yeah. Yes, uh, in the hospital with Rick Bauer. Right. Um, look, I, I know you're a very busy man, and I will come right to the point here. Any, any chance I could talk you into making a house call? 